Hello students. Today we are going to be learning about, let me see if you can guess what we are going to be learning about by just seeing this picture. In this picture, which is the most abundant tissue you get to see? Muscles. So we are going to be learning about muscular tissue today. In muscular tissue, we are going to be taking care of how the cells of muscles, they look like, what exactly they function, how they function, where exactly they are placed. But before getting into the detailing of all of this, we are going to be learning about some fascinating facts about the muscles in your body. So firstly, let's see. Total number of muscles. How many total number of muscles do you have in your body? Are they many times more than your bones? And we remember, we have 206 bones in our body. So are the muscles more than bones or less than bones? Muscles in your body are around 639 in number many times more than the number of bones present in your body. Although they are, most of them are attached to the bones itself. Let's get to know more about muscles. Which muscle in your body is the strongest one? Do I get to hear tongue? No. Boys, are you answering me biceps? No. The strongest muscle in your body is the muscle present in your lower jaw and it's known as masseter. This is the muscle which helps you chew food and talking. Masseter in your body is the strongest muscle in your body. Now let's see some other interesting facts. Which muscle in your body is the largest muscle? Huge, big muscle it is. If you are sitting right now, you are sitting on that muscle. It's known as gluteus maximus. This is the muscle which is present in your bottom. Gluteus maximus is the largest muscle of your body. So when we get to know the largest muscle, we should also know which is the smallest muscle of your body. The smallest muscle? A clue coming your way is attached to the smallest bone of your body. Where exactly is the smallest bone? In your ear. The smallest muscle is attached to the bone called stapes. That's why it's known as stapedius. It's students present in your ear. A very small, tiny little muscle. Stapedius. Isn't that interesting? Now one more fact about it. Which muscle is the fastest muscle in your body? Fastest moving. Fraction of a second it contracts. Kind of a reflex action. The fastest moving muscle in your body is your upper eyelid muscle. Beautiful reflex it shows. Upper eyelid muscle is the fastest muscle. So I hope you remember all of this because I'm going to be coming back with all of these questions very soon. Meanwhile, briefly, little more about the muscles. Muscular tissue students comprises of 40% of your total body weight. That's quite huge. Around 40% of your body weight is just muscles present in your body. So how do these muscle cells, they look like? Muscular tissue's general structure is somewhat like this. These cell students are known as the muscle fibers. Why fibers? because they are long, thin, thread-like structures. So normally, the cells of the muscles are known as muscle fibers. Briefly, little more about the muscle cells. In the muscle cells, the membrane which covers them is known as sarcolemma. Now, what does this word mean? Sarco students is derived from the word flesh or muscle. So sarco is muscle, 
Lemma means membrane. So this is the membrane of muscle cells. So we will get to see whenever we talking about muscle cells, we will get to hear this prefix sarco quite often. Now cytoplasm in these cells normally called as cytoplasm but in muscle cells it is known as sarcoplasm. In this sarcoplasm students you can see some very small thin fibrils present. 